I like to use lighted keyboards. Here I'm using Linux Mint and I found a solution to control the lighting on two different styles of keyboards. The default lighting on these keyboards is this rolling uh, color change and I don't like that. I want a constant color uh, that's easy to see. So as you can see, I have two keyboards that are both lit up with constant colors. This one on the left is the Logitech G216. Let's turn on a light so we can see this. There. This is a very affordable keyboard for being lighted and it's also a mechanical uh, keyboard which uh, I find lasts longer. I had a membrane Logitech keyboard that was lighted and very compact however in a couple of years the I don't know membranes got stiff there was something wrong. Uh, and it failed. This one is working very nicely. This is a more expensive Razer keyboard called the Black Widow 3. And uh, you can find them on sale sometimes but, or renewed. But uh, so I have a couple of those too. So anyway, as you can see, both of these keyboards are, are lit up and I'm running Linux. So uh, let's watch what happens when we do various things. I've got the pause key set up to sleep or suspend Linux. So let's do that. So the keyboards go dark. And then we'll resume, type any other key, resume. Now, you notice the keyboards are dark, but I'm running open RGB that controls the lighting. So let's open that up. You have to do this manually. I don't understand. I did all the settings. I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, both keyboards are here. If I load this profile, they both light up. So that's what you have to do each time you either boot or resume with this open RGB thing. I've tried other solutions and they have other problems, which I won't go into. So open RGB. So let's see how to install that. If we click on the software manager and search for open RGB, there's only one thing called that. And we'll click on it. And here's the thing oh, you just click install, it works. There's some if you use a Razer keyboard, there's some errors that it it uh, pops up about installing this other stuff. Don't worry about it. It turns out it works with the Black Widow V3 without the other thing being installed. Didn't have to do it. Uh, couldn't do it, the uh, problems. Anyway. So that's how you get open RGB, and that's how uh, you can have your uh, keyboards, either a Logitech G216 or a Razer Black Widow V3 lit up so you can see them in the dark.
Now let's look at what it looks like on Windows. So here we are on Windows 11 with the Logitech G216 keyboard. And as you can see, it's lit up and it's not in the default mode. And that's because for Windows, of course, Logitech has their proprietary software called G-Hub. It shows a picture of the, oh, it's a 213, okay. I thought it was a 216. I'll check in a minute. Anyway, I thought these are the keyboards were the same. Anyway, this one works. And we'll get the update later. So this software runs in the background and it's there every time the system boots or uh, comes back from suspension or uh, high, um, sleep. It just, uh, it just works. Let's uh, sleep this and watch what happens. Okay, sleep. Move back a little bit. Look down at the keyboard. Wake it up with shift. There we go. Keypad wakes up because that's the way it is. And the keyboard wakes up as well. And you don't have to have the this thing running. You can shut this. Let's see if it's here. Yes, it's sitting in the tray. Let's see what happens if I exit that. Okay, so now it's not in the tray. Keyboard's lit. Let's uh, sleep again. All right, and then wake it up with shift. And ah, it doesn't wake up. Interesting. All right, so you do have to have it running in the tray. There, it lit, lit up the keyboard. So, for this G-Hub, Logitech G-Hub software, you need to leave it running in the tray. Let me see what happens here. If I, and then X this, in fact, doesn't exit, it's still sitting in the tray. And let me try it one more time. Sleep. Shift. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't recognize something. Okay, who cares? All right, there we go. So, the keyboard lights are back. So that's how it is on Windows. Uh, using the Logitech. Uh, and I assume Razer has their own software. I don't use a Razer on this Windows system. So... Uh, 
that's left as an exercise for the listener. Perhaps you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.